damn it. Hey everyone, I know it's been like a few months since I did the last video, but I have gone out of town and I have school now, so I really don't have any... Sorry, my cat's being crazy. I don't have any time really, so now I have time. And so, I really am not going to do a video about myself today. I'm going to review this book. I'm not going to tell you everything about it, but I will tell you that I recommend it. It's um, called Wicked Appetite by Janet Abonovich. She is one of my favorite, favorite authors. She makes you laugh out loud. I kid you not. Just read one of her books. Um, this one is a spin-off series. Um, has some people from her other, her Stephanie Sloan series, which is this book, I also highly, highly, highly recommend. One for the money. It's great. This girl Stephanie Plum, and she needs money, so she becomes a bounty hunter, and she's not that good at it, and it's great. She has 16 of these books, just these, and then the in between the numbers, it's like they aren't numbers; they are called like Plum Spooky, Plum Lovin', and they kind of have like holiday themes to it. Like Plum Spooky is kind of like like you think of Halloween, Plum Lovin', Valentine's Day, but it's really not. A uh, holiday thing. It's just like it makes you think of holidays. Um, so back to Wicked Appetite. It has a few characters from her Between the Numbers series, um, which is Diesel and Carl the Monkey. And Diesel is an un unmentionable, and he has basically special powers, I guess you would call it. Um, maybe I sound that makes that sound like it's stupid, but it's really good. And Diesel sounds pretty hot, if you ask me. Um, he's finds this girl who's also an unmentionable, and she doesn't really know it. Um, and basically, they have to find these stones, which represent each of the seven deadly sins. And this one is gluttony. It's about, and they have to find that one. And so I'm guessing there's going to be like, you know, one for each sin. Which makes me excited because this book was awesome. I read it in one day. Um, and I had school that day, so I had breaks in between. Such a good book. I really, really recommend it. Um, I recommend her other books. Um, Janet Ivanovich has a few different series. I've read almost every single one of her books. The only books I haven't read are her old, old ones before she did the series. So, um, I recommend... Stephanie Plum novels. There's also um, one called Metro Girl. It is a different series. No characters from either of these Wicked Appetite or One for the Money books. Um, totally different. There's only two of them. Well, there's three. But I haven't read the third one, so I guess I haven't read it. But um, I can't show you that book right now because I just lent it to my friend so she can read it because Jan Ivanovich is a great author. And if you really want something to laugh to, read one of her books, especially the Stephanie Plum series, which is one for the money, two for the dough, three to get deadly, four to score, high five, hot six, seven up, oh, like heart eight, um, to the nines, ten big ones, oh, I lose it at eleven, I can't think of the eleventh title, twelve sharp, and I don't remember thirteen. I don't remember 14. 15. I don't remember 15 either. But I do know that it, the newest one is Sizzling 16. So I would check those out. You don't have to read them in order, but I recommend you do because they're just really good. So read Janet Ivanovich books, all of them, if you have time. Um, they're really good. So, yeah, that's, I guess, it. Bye.